What is up? Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. Back with some more Resident 4 Remake gameplay for you. Before I get into this video, I do want to say thank you for everyone for over 900 subscribers. You guys are absolutely amazing. I love hearing your feedback and hopefully we can grow even more. So thank you in return. But also I want to say that I forgot to mention this in my last video with the SMGs. No, I didn't forget the Chicago Sweeper. I'm just going to save that for another video and... You know, I'll let you guess what that is, but I just forgot to mention that in the last SMG video in case you were wondering. I did not forget it, but we're actually going to be talking about the rifles and all the rifles. The Bolt, the semi-automatic, and the fully automatic one. So, without further ado, let's determine which one is the best, which is still opinionated. So, let's start out with the SRM1903, and I'm just going to be referring to this as the Bolt for now on, because I'll probably forget all those letters and words, because I'm not good at remembering stuff like that. But, basically, its perks, and all the perks for these rifles have 3x power against weak points, penetration power, it's compatible with various scopes, which I'll show them off, and its special ability is the 2 times power. Now, this thing is a powerhouse, and this was a lot of people's go-to rifle in the original game, even though I was on the other side of the fence, but... This thing, in terms of the power, it, it can't be matched in terms of the rifle. This thing, if you can hit your shots, you're going to be doing a lot of damage. And that's the key part there, hit your shots. Because, obviously, it is a bolt-action rifle, so it does take a little while to shoot. So, let's try it out on here. See how powerful it is? Oh, oh, wait, what What the hell? What, what happened? No, I'm just kidding. Um, that guy, unfortunately, you can't shoot. I, I've, I've always thought maybe you could save that... Um, Poor man being burnt to death, but no, unfortunately you can't shoot that you know, good nado, so I did try, so. Hey, I did, I did try, I did try, I didn't give him much chance, but here it is with the iron sights. I'm not a fan, obviously, of the rifles with the iron sights, but it is nice to know you can have that option, but even so. And obviously I'm not good with it up close and all them, but even if you're not hitting your headshots with this thing, it, it can still just decimate them and, you know, bam, like these guys and, and here's a little bit of fallback you know if they come at you you know you got to reload and you know you want to hit your shots out and that's the key part with this weapon but let's try this all again and yeah if you're hitting the head it, it's most likely going to kill a lot of these things in one shot especially these villagers if it hits them in the head it's, it's a one shot kill if not blowing off their head basically every single time but even if you don't hit them in the head if you hit them in the arm might be taking off arms or limbs or legs this thing is a powerhouse, but that's the thing. You, you got to hit your shot. I think that's one of the big differences here. This is probably the most powerful of the rifles, but you got to be able to hit your shot because if you don't, it's going to take you. You might be in some da danger because you're going to have all these guys on you and you got to reload at their every shot, but that's the whole trade off. But let's see how it works against Dr. Salvador and and check this out. Like, I don't even. I think I hit him maybe one time in the. The head right there, and bam, he's dead. And watch this. Watch this real quick. Did you see that? You can't tell me he didn't do that on purpose. Did you see how he just blew up that Ganado's head with his chainsaw right before you about to die? Man, that was dirty, Dr. Salvador. Like, he did that on purpose. That's that's sick. But, yeah, this the bolt, it's a beast. It's an absolute beast. So, people picking it isn't a surprise to me. So, Overall, the bolt, if you can hit your shots, I think this is the one to go with. And you know, But let's move on to the next one because we got some other rifles to compare with. This Stingray. Now, this was actually my favorite. Obviously, it doesn't have the power to match the other one. But as I said, it has a three times power against weak points, penetration, compatible with other scopes. Its bonus thing is the two times fire rate. And that's why I said if you're not as good as hitting your shots, it's probably why I chose the Stingray. You know, I do like the design of it a little bit better. I like the modernistic looks on the rifles better than the hunter's look. But but basically, you have a higher fire rate. So basically, you can fire this thing. It is a semi-automatic rifle. And I said this is a semi-automatic. So if you're not able to maybe hit the crit spots, or maybe you're just not good at hitting your shots, period, this is the rifle for you. And this is probably why I chose it in the original one, because I'm not very accurate, if you ever notice here. And if you know, I do have my stretches at times, but a lot of times I feel like when I got to hit a shot, I just, I, I muff it. I muff it and I panic and whatnot. I guess at the end of the day, I just rather hit the person than hit a crit. It'd be good to hit a crit, but here it is with the iron sights. As I said, this is, ain't a rifle I want to have with the iron sights, but I do like having the option. And as I do like having the options with the scopes and all, and going all about, but obviously with these type of rifles, you got to kind of have the scope, so 
Let's go at it again. And obviously, if you do hit some of the bodies with these guys, it doesn't necessarily kill them. So you see, obviously, the drop off in the power because it doesn't have that times two power as the other one. So it's nowhere near as powerful. But if you do hit the crit shots, even without the power, you're basically going to be killing these guys in one shot anyway. Or you might be taking off a limb or something like that. Not all the time, but if you do hit the head, they are blowing up. So the Stingray, don't get me wrong, maybe not as powerful, but still pretty powerful. But obviously a lot faster fire rate and a bigger clip. So you're not going to always be constantly in a thing of, you know, they're going to get on you. Even if they do, you can just fire real quick. And it's probably good for like a panic rifle and... And, well, thank you for saving me in the back. They're, they're kind of being nice today. Dark Souls would kill that one guy for me and then that villager. But here you go. And here, you know, I'm not very good with shots. So I'm just going to spam the shots. And eventually he falls. So, as I said, obviously it takes a lot more. But, once again, I think it just comes down to a skill thing. If you're not as good, like maybe someone like me, the Stingray probably fits you a little bit better. But if you are good with your shots, the bolt is the one for you. But that's what I think this comes down to. I think this comes down to um, skill. You know, so basically, if you do have the skill, I go with the bolt. But if you're not as good with the skill, I go with the semi-automatic. So that's my personal preference there. But either, I don't think you go wrong with either one. But we do have another rifle, and this is the assault rifle, the CQBR assault rifle, fully automatic. Now, this was not in the original Resident Evil 4, so it's a nice addition in this game. And it's also got the three times power against weak points penetration power compatible with various scopes and its abilities at 1.5 times power and i'm not gonna lie this thing is really really powerful and it really puts me in a weird spot because i, I honestly i i'm just gonna kind of slide with the thing you know maybe it just depends on obviously the enemies you're fighting but this thing kind of went to town for a lot of them so let's try it out you know with the um scope and i'll be honest with you i actually like this one a lot more without the scope but obviously it is a assault rifle it does jump a little bit but it kind of takes it kind of does the job and if you hit the head or weak spots this thing is ridiculous and i mean it's just going to town on them and i'm just thinking like what's the drawback here it is with the arms like i prefer it this way actually personally but once again hey it, it's all in the player you know a lot of people might like the scope more and sometimes it depends on the situation but I like the fact that we have those options you know you have multiple scopes multiple variations of the same weapon you can play but this assault rifle is just going to town on them and bam they're done so let's do it over again and you know I'm just rolling up on them non-stop and you know you got 32 rounds in a clip and I feel like I'm killing at least five or six before I have to reload and that's pretty strong and I, I just felt like it would like maybe take more bullets to do that but if you could hit those crit shots it, it's it's pretty nasty and i'm actually kind of amazed at just how powerful it is maybe you know it yeah, i'm not trying to say i, I want it nerve I, I don't but it's just like i'm kind of crazy it has a three times extra the weak spots but let's go over to dr salvador and this is the one that really surprised me the most i didn't even hit all the crit shots and honestly i kind of just fired because i didn't know exactly when he because sometimes when he moves you know, I haven't sure when he dies, but it didn't even take a full round of clips to kill him. I was, that really surprised me. So, the assault rifle is really strong. I mean, I'm that's probably the biggest surprise of this whole thing for me personally. So, yeah, like, if you want that fully automatic rifle, you're not going wrong with the assault rifle here as we ring the, the last bell personally for us. So, let's discuss this. So, which rifle is the best? Once again, I don't think there's a best overall it just depends on the player honestly it depends on personal preference if you got the best skill and you can hit your shots then i go with the bolt if you're someone like me who's now you can hit shots and sometimes you can't you're not consistent enough i go with the semi-automatic and then you got the ar it's just kind of like there and i honestly think this thing is really just powerful it's kind of like in a way, maybe like the best of both worlds and stuff. As I said, you can have all the scopes on that. I just personally prefer the iron sights, even though I'm using iron sights on the weapons here. But, but yeah, it's just, I don't know. I, I guess I kind of have to give the nod to the AR. But granted, it's, it's a different circumstance. But um, I think it's not AR because I was just really surprised at how good it is. Um, I really liked it a lot. You know, I just thought, you know, against, you know, just the, the actual, you know, rifles from the original one. Obviously, like it's gonna have the higher fire rate, the assault rifle, but in the damage, I'm just surprised with the damage. Really good, but 
nonetheless, that's my opinion. What's your guys' opinion? What is your favorite rifle? Um, which one would you want to use? And is you think it's just more situational or skill level? Let me know down in the comment section down below. But that is going to be it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. And hopefully I can see you guys back on the next one. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the rest of your day. And I hope to see you all later. Peace.